Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the file required for this project. You can download all the files from the below link in the description. Here I have already created these two text compositions, if you want to know, how to create them, then watch my tutorial link is given in the description. Now let's create our slideshow. Create a new composition. Here I will name it as slide 1, I will set time duration for this composition to 5 seconds. Perfect. Now add the media file to the timeline, here you can use image as well as video files. Here I will scale my media file. Let's pre-compose it. I will name it as media 1. Select Move All Attribute into New Composition. For this media composition, press S to bring up scale. At 3 seconds, create keyframe for scale. At start of the timeline, change scale value to 50%. Select End Keyframe, change Keyframe Assistant to Easy Ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's add the shape 1 media file to the timeline. For media composition, change track mat to alpha mat shape 1. Here we need to increase the scale value for shape layer to cover the whole screen. Change scale value to 400%. Here you can see this empty area, to cover this up, for media composition. In effects and preset, search for CC Repertile, add it to the media composition. Change all the side expand value to 500. Tiling to unfold. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here we will place this shape layer at 8 frames. Now select both the layers, create duplicate. Now place the duplicate shape 1 at 3 frames, perfect. Now add the shape 2 media file to the timeline. Place it at 3 frames. For this shape 2, change scale value to 400%. You can see the preview. Select both the shape layers. Change the position for this shape layer as shown. You can see the preview. Select media composition and both the shape layers. Create duplicate. Place them above. For shape 1 and shape 2. Adjust the position as shown. Adjust their position on the timeline.
Now let's again create duplicate of media and shape layer. Place them above. Adjust the position. Here we will do the same. Repeat this for two to three times. Make sure media file is at start of the timer line. Here you can see the difference. Make sure the media composition is aligned to the center. Here I will again create duplicate. Place it above. Change position on timer line. Adjust the position as shown. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can create multiple duplicates to increase the effect time duration. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as Media Reveal 1. Now add the text composition to the timeline, if you want to know how to create this text animation. Then watch my previous tutorial, link is also provided in the description. Here I will place this composition at 1 second. Scale this composition if needed. Place it wherever you want. From project panel, add the dust media file to the timer line. For this dust file, increase the scale value. For this dust media file, let's create a time freeze keyframe. Now stretch the media file. This will create a hold keyframe. For dust, change mode to add. For dust, Press T to bring up the opacity, at 1 second. Create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to, 50%. Now at start of the timer line, change opacity to 0%. Now add the particles media file to the timer line. For particles, from effects and preset, add the CC Repetile to particles media file. Change tiling to unfold, increase expand values as shown. Perfect. For particles media file, change mode to add, press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create opacity keyframe, change opacity to, 50%. At start, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. Now we will change all the layers to 3D. Create a new camera. Now create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. At start. Create keyframe for position. At end of the timer line, increase position value for z-axis as shown. 
you can see the preview. Here our slide 1 is created, similarly, you can create multiple slides. To save time in creating all this composition, you can create duplicates and replace files. Let's see how to do that, go to project panel, create duplicate of media composition, for media 2 composition, remove the previously added image file, and add the new image file, scale it to fit the composition. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this media reveal composition. For media reveal 2, here we need to replace all these media 1 compositions with media 2 compositions. Select all the media compositions, now select media 2 composition, while pressing Alt key. Drag and drop the media 2 composition over media 1 composition, this will replace media 1 with media 2 composition. Perfect, now let's create duplicate of this slide 1 composition, for slide 2. Let's replace media reveal 1 composition with media reveal 2, while pressing alt key, drag and drop media 2 composition over media 1. Perfect. Now let's replace text 1 with text 2. Adjust the position for text composition. Here if you want you can change the text color. Set any color of your choice. Now let's create our final composition, name it as slideshow, for this composition, I will set time duration to 8 seconds as I am using only two slides. If you have created more slides, then set the time duration accordingly. Add slides compositions to the timer line. Place them at distance of three seconds from one another. Add light leak media file to the timer line. For light leak, change mode to screen. For light leak, set opacity to 50%. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our slideshow is created, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you on Friday with another awesome tutorial.